We have a record shop uh, in the city center of Dublin called Absis and Sentinel Records. I'm passionate about records for so many, so many years because I was DJing before I started to work on the record label. I was a DJ playing a drum and bass in uh, Django around Poland and then since I moved into Ireland in 2007 I uh, started record label Absis Records. So I started to buy and uh, trading online and go to a few markets around Dublin and around country in here and I started to observe that the, there are more and more uh, people who are interested in that format or the people who are coming back to that format and they, they fall asleep for a few years so the general group of people is from 20 years old up to 60. So it's uh, we're, we're Spin Dizzy Records, we, we're located in Dublin 2, George Street Arcade, we've been here for quite a while, it's been here since about 95 in various shapes or forms. There's a perennial interest in vinyl, but there's no doubt about it, there's been definitely an up, up surge in it lately. Um, a lot of local bands putting out records, uh, there's a lot of interest of all ages, older people getting their vinyl back, back, uh, back together and also young people as well, um, all sorts of people, you know, we don't discriminate against anybody of any age or anything else. So. All City Records is just about 20 years old. It's been in and around Temple Bar since its inception. I think it's been quite steady for us. Um, we deal in quite niche styles of music because it's dance and electronic music, which originally would have been more geared towards vinyl DJs, which meant that, that we had like a steady sale of things like techno and house records, whereas now we have diversified quite a bit more into things like uh, jazz and funk and in that regard I think we've seen an uptake in younger people buying a lot of records for collectability purposes as opposed to listening or even using them to DJ or anything like that. I think it's important that records exist and that vinyl continues to be purchased because with the age of mp3s and digital files things are often lost or forgotten about and never to be seen again.